Do you know how many days there are between now and, I don't know, December 31st, the year 9,999? I sure don't, but luckily Excel does. And its date functions can help you with more everyday tasks like timesheets and project management. This is going to sound weird, but what humans see as a date, Excel sees as a number. That's because Excel is a calculator and it needs a number to work with. So this is what Microsoft did. They arbitrarily assigned January 1st, 1900 as Excel's beginning of time. And then they projected that way out to December 31st, the year 9,999. I mean, what are we gonna be doing then? God knows. And then they went back to the beginning of time and they started assigning serial numbers to each of those days. So January 1st, 1900 is serial number one. January 2nd, 1900 is serial number two, and so on. And I'm gonna show you how this looks in Excel. I'm going to type the date, May 25th, 1977. This was the day that Star Wars Episode IV opened nationwide, and that was a very important date to me. So I'm gonna hit return, and you're going to see that Excel already sees this as a date. Excel also knows what day of the week, May 25th, 1977 is, and not because it was a rabid fan that lined up the day before, but because it's stored with the serial number along with the number of the day and the number of the month and the number of the year. And I'll show you, if I go up to number format and pick long date, there it is. Star Wars open on Wednesday, May 25th, 1977. So now I'm going to show you that mysterious serial number. Let's go back to our date, and we're going to change the format from long date to general. Look at that. So now we know. May 25th, 1977 is day number 28,270 if you start counting from January 1st, 1900. Now that you know all this, I'm going to show you a very simple date function. The days function calculates the number of days between two dates. Sounds simple, right? But what if it's a wide time range? And what if it includes a leap year? Excel can calculate all of that for you. So here's a simple spreadsheet with two dates I've picked. Friday, February 20th, 2015, and Thursday, March 5th, 2015. If I wanna know how many days are between them, I just go to a new cell and I type equals sign days, then parentheses, and then I type in the two cell addresses, which are B3 and C3. So I do that, and what do we have here? Negative 13. How can that happen? This is because Excel is looking at these dates as numbers. So Friday, February 20th is a smaller number than Thursday, March 5th. And so when you try and calculate the difference between them, it comes up with a negative number. I'm gonna show you how to make this in a way that humans understand. All you have to do is go back up to your formula and put the numbers in reverse order. So the later date first and then the earlier date. And now we know that there are 13 days between these two dates. Excel's date functions are clearly powerful, but they're complicated because humans in Excel look at dates in different ways. As you try other date functions, just pay attention to the format that Excel wants you to put the date in and you'll be fine. And if you have other questions about Excel, just email us at answer at pcworld.com.